5 Worst Daily Habits Are You Unknowingly Damaging Your Kidneys Fix Them Today? 5 Worst Daily Habits Are You Unknowingly Damaging Your Kidneys? Fix Them Today Let's have an honest talk about your kidneys. These days, everyone's searching for kidney detoxes and miracle foods, trying to boost kidney health. But here's the truth. The best way to care for your kidneys isn't through learning some new hack or magic fix. It's by simply cutting back on what could harm them as much as possible. Sounds simple enough. But your seemingly harmless routine is probably full of silent kidney stressing habits. Once kidneys are damaged, especially in chronic cases, recovery is rare and untreated issues can lead to kidney failure, requiring dialysis or a transplant to survive. Worse still, kidney disease often develops without any warning signs until one's kidneys lose 80% of their function. In fact, 90% of Americans don't realize they have kidney issues. But once you spot hidden kidney stressors from your daily routine, you can start making life-changing choices. No trendy superfoods or magical recipes required. Just awareness. We're here to summarize five common habits that can harm your kidneys, along with practical tips to keep them healthy. Get ready for some eye-opening insights. Before we dive in, please note all the information in this video is created by real people, thoroughly fact-checked, unbiased, and reviewed by qualified professionals. 5. Prolonged sitting or lying down When you sit or lie down for long periods, your blood flow and circulation slow down. This can lead to high blood pressure when standing and poor blood sugar regulation, both of which are major risk factors for kidney disease. Sitting or lying too much also promotes poor posture, compressing kidneys, ruining their filtering over time. A 2022 study in the Sports Medicine Journal followed over 450 000 people for 21 years and found that sitting for long periods at work increased the risk of chronic kidney disease, or CKD for short, by 26%, the need for dialysis by 19%, and the risk of death from kidney issues by 43%. Just 15 minutes of daily exercise helped lower these risks. Other studies also showed that people who sat the least had the lowest CKD risk, no matter how much they usually exercise or how much they weigh. Breaking the cycle of prolonged sitting or lying might feel challenging, especially if you work a desk job or have a busy schedule. But even when you're seated, you can add in small movements. One easy trick is to keep a small water bottle nearby. It keeps your kidneys hydrated, and when it's empty, it's a good reminder to get up and refill it, giving your body a break from sitting. Next time you're on a phone call, try standing, walking around, or doing a few simple stretches. Even better, walk over to a colleague instead of calling. If you're sitting at your desk, do simple seated exercises like ankle rotations, knee lifts, or shoulder rolls to keep your blood flowing. If you can, switch to a standing desk or an adjustable desk that lets you alternate between sitting and standing throughout the day. It might sound cliche, but it's something really important for your kidneys. Keep your screen height at eye level, your keyboard at elbow height, and your chair supporting your lower back. Get your posture right, and your kidneys will thank you. To break the habit of sitting further, try a more structured movement plan. Start each morning with a 5-10 to 10 minute stretch or a quick walk to get your circulation going. This also helps set an active tone for the day. At work, the simplest yet most effective trick is setting phone alarms or computer break reminders. Every 30 minutes, stand up, stretch, walk in place, or do some basic movements. Every couple of hours, try a 5-minute walking break, do some light exercises, reset your posture, and grab a water refill. 
4. Eating too much salt and sugar. Salt and sugar in excess are two of the biggest dangers for kidney health. Salt, or sodium chloride, is essential for the body, but too much of it makes kidneys retain more water to dilute sodium, disrupting their natural filtration process. High salt intake also forces kidneys to work overtime, as salt molecules are heavy for passage through the kidney nephrons, causing higher glomerular pressure. Over time, this extra workload can lead to kidney damage and even kidney stones. High sodium intake can also make kidney protecting drugs, like ACE inhibitors and calcium antagonists, less effective. How about sugar? Eating too much of it raises blood sugar levels, which can damage the tiny blood vessels inside your kidneys and weaken their filtration, especially if you have diabetes. If not managed, this damage may lead to high protein in urine, also known as proteinuria, CKD, and even kidney failure. High sugar intake also increases blood pressure, adding strain to your kidneys. A 2023 study found that people who consumed 25% or more of their daily calories from added sugar had an 88% higher risk of kidney stones than those who ate less. Looking to reduce the risks from sugar and salt? It's simple, but powerful. Cut back whenever you can. General guidelines recommend consuming less than 2 grams of sodium per day per person. Hidden salt sources to watch for are processed foods such as bread, cereals, canned goods, deli meats, pickles, condiments, and sauces. For better kidney health, cut down on them and cook more meals at home to control salt. Start reading food labels for sodium content. Rinse canned foods, make homemade salad dressings, bring lunch from home, try nutritional yeast for savory flavor and flavor your food with herbs and spices instead of salt. For example, choose garlic powder over garlic salt. It may take 6 to 8 weeks for your taste buds to adjust, but once they do, salty foods like chips might taste overly salty. It might help to keep a salt diary for the first 2 weeks or until you're comfortable with using less salt. Now, regarding sugar, it sneaks into almost everything, so it's really helpful to track all your sugar sources in the first few weeks. Remember, your body doesn't need any added sugar, so skip sodas, fruit punches, sweetened iced tea, and sport and energy drinks. Some other hidden sources are granola bars, healthy breakfast cereals, and low-fat products. Sugar is added to replace the creamy texture of fat. Be aware of the 70 different names for sugar we put on the screen when scanning food labels. No worries if you couldn't screenshot in time. You'll find a printable list of these 70 names in the description box. If you really need a sweet treat, go for fruits or try sugar alcohols like erythritol, stevia, and monk fruit. Sugar alcohols have a chemical structure similar to both sugars and alcohols, but they're neither. The best part is, they're deliciously sweet without raising your blood sugar like regular sugar and are safer than artificial sweeteners. Besides sugar alcohols, you can add a touch of vanilla or cinnamon for a sweet treat. They come with bonus kidney-boosting antioxidants. Here is a pro tip. Start your day with a protein-rich breakfast to curb those sugar cravings during the day. But are all proteins created equal? Let's explore that in the next section. Are you enjoying our video so far? If so, please give us some hints by dropping a like, and we'll make more content like this. 3. Eating too much meat our kidneys process animal and plant proteins differently. For example, according to Nutrition Facts, after eating tuna, your kidneys work 36% harder within 3 hours. But if you eat the same amount of protein from tofu, your kidneys usually don't have to work any harder. Why does this happen? 
animal protein contains purines, which get broken down into uric acid. High levels of this waste product can lead to kidney stones. Eating meat also raises the level of acid in your blood. When acid loads are too high, the kidneys must work harder to keep balance, which can eventually damage their filtering system, cause inflammation, muscle loss, and weaken bones. Another harmful effect of eating too much meat is the production of uremic toxins in the gut. Like TMAO, which is linked to a higher risk of heart disease and can speed up kidney disease progression. Give your kidneys a break by swapping some animal foods with fresh veggies and whole grains. Foods like beans, tofu, tempeh, seeds, nuts, and quinoa are great sources of protein. When choosing meat, consider lower purine cuts, like chicken or turkey, instead of beef and pork. Limit red meat to two to three times a week, and you could add one or two meat-free days to explore plant-based meals. If you're used to having meat with every meal, let's start small. For your first week, cut your meat portion in half and fill the rest of your plate with colorful veggies or grains. For example, instead of a full steak, you could make a veggie pack stir-fry with a bit of beef. Flavor can often be a major reason we reach for meat. Try experimenting with savory, umami-rich veggie recipes that add the deep flavor you're looking for, without the protein strain. Common umami-rich veggie foods are mushrooms, nutritional yeast, soy sauce, and miso paste. Don't forget to choose low-sodium versions. It might take a couple of weeks to adjust, but you'll find some new favorites. Plus, to support your kidneys when you're eating more protein, keep drinking water alongside your meal. When dining out, try opting for fish and poultry, or sharing a meat dish with friends to keep portions balanced. Also, watch out for animal-based dairy. It's high in phosphorus, which can damage bones and blood vessels in those with CKD. 2. Holding in urine. The average office worker holds their urine for 2-4 to four hours during a work day, and we've all done it. You're on a long drive or watching a movie, and you just don't want to interrupt. But those just a few more minutes moments could be the very thing damaging your kidney health. When urine doesn't fully empty from your body, it can cause a condition called hydronephrosis, where one or both kidneys swell. If untreated, severe hydronephrosis can lead to kidney failure. Constantly delaying urination also raises your risk of urinary tract infections, or UTIs for short, because an overly full bladder can trap bacteria. These infections can spread to the kidneys and hurt them. Holding urine too long can also stretch the bladder and weaken bladder muscles, forcing urine back toward kidneys. Over time, this can make your bladder hold less urine and make UTIs happen more often, which can complicate further into kidney infection, kidney stones, or even sepsis. But the fact is that it's not always easy to urinate when you feel the urge. But the good news is, you can actually take control of it. Pelvic floor exercises can help train your bladder. Plus, spread out your water intake throughout the day so it's easier on your bladder. Be mindful of caffeine in drinks like sodas, coffee, tea, and even decaf options, as they all contain some caffeine. Caffeine is a natural diuretic, meaning it increases urine production. Also, if you drink a lot of caffeine, like over 400 mg per day, it can harm your kidneys. Try switching to herbal teas, unsweetened fruit juice, and vegetable smoothies to stay hydrated and energized without overdoing the caffeine. One of the easiest ways to stop holding in urine is by setting reminders. At work, you can schedule bathroom breaks every two to three hours. And don't forget hydration reminders. This simple habit can take pressure off both your kidneys and your mind. For those who get busy and forget, 
setting up a routine can really help. Try to use the bathroom after waking up, before leaving the house, before meals, and before a meeting, even if you don't feel the urge. This isn't just about your health. It'll help you stay focused at work. And if you're traveling, plan your rest stops in advance. If you find yourself frequently needing to hold it in, or experience pain while urinating, cloudy or foamy urine, or lower back pain, it's important to see a doctor. These might indicate a kidney issue that needs attention. For those interested in the evidence, the studies supporting our claims are provided in the link in our description box. Overlooking medication risks Some medications like NSAIDs, which are pain relievers, and ACE inhibitors, which are blood pressure drugs, can be toxic for your kidneys. This damage can range from mild to complete kidney failure. Now, people who regularly self-treat chronic issues like headaches or arthritis with over-the-counter painkillers should be very careful. NSAIDs include common drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, Motrin, Ketorolac, Celecoxib, and Naproxen. Although these medicines are easy to get, they shouldn't be used daily or regularly without first consulting your doctor. Every year, about 500, 000 to 2. 5 million people suffer kidney injuries from NSAIDs. Why? NSAIDs work by blocking an enzyme called COX, which normally helps produce pain-causing substances. However, COX is also important for protecting the kidneys under stress and helps regulate sodium and water balance. By blocking COX, NSAIDs can lead to fluid retention, inflammation, reduced kidney blood flow, impaired kidney function, and even acute kidney failure. They can also raise blood pressure, worsening kidney damage. Another medication to be cautious with is ACE inhibitors, commonly used to lower blood pressure and treat heart, and even kidney conditions. Popular ACE inhibitors include Zestrel, Prinavil, Altace, Vasotec, and Lotensin. These drugs help lower blood pressure and widen blood vessels, which may improve blood flow to the kidneys, reducing their workload. However, when you consume them with NSAIDs, diuretics, or alcohol, your risk of acute kidney injury, or AKI, can increase sky high. Not drinking enough water while taking ACE inhibitors can also raise the risk. In rare cases, especially in people with heart failure or severe dehydration, ACE inhibitors can cause acute kidney failure. Therefore, Dosages and drug interactions should be carefully managed by your doctor and ask them for medication list reviews regularly. As we live in a time of medications, always remind yourself that they can kill us silently. Pain or high blood pressure could be your body's way of alerting you to deeper health issues. Rather than just addressing these symptoms, try to focus on the root cause of the problem. With this approach, you can truly protect your kidneys from possible drug-related risks and have greater confidence in your health choices. If you rely on pain relievers lately, consider using them only when absolutely necessary and try to limit their use to a few times a week at most. Try home remedies like heat cold or physical therapy, such as compression therapy and posture correction. Acupuncture, massage therapy, gentle stretching, or meditation also work really well. If you're on blood pressure medication, check in with your doctor before making any changes and ask if there are lifestyle adjustments like diet, exercise, sleep, or stress management that can support healthy blood pressure. Avoid alcohol as it can interact with medications and add stress to your kidneys and nature is the best healer. Learning mind-body approaches to reduce stress overall. Like meditation, deep breathing, guided imagery, mindfulness practice, stress journaling, regular exercise, and gentle yoga can help you manage pain and blood pressure naturally. 
They're great for just about anything with no side effects. Plus, boost your kidney health naturally with antioxidant-rich foods like turmeric with black pepper, ginger, omega-3 rich in fermented foods, green tea and herbal teas, tart cherries, and plenty of fruits or vegetables. We've got lots of videos on our channel with tips to help you get the most out of these foods, so check them out. But first, let's wrap this video up. The secret to healthier kidneys, and a healthier you, isn't hiding in some complicated medical journal. It is to live more naturally, like our ancestors did. They didn't have processed foods full of salt and sugar. They didn't ignore nature's calls. They stayed active by hunting and gathering rather than sitting for long periods. And they didn't rely on medications for quick fixes. By getting back to these simple, natural habits, you're not just protecting your kidneys. You're taking a stand for a happier, healthier, and more balanced life, like the way people stay fine-tuned over millions of years. Plus, try a plant-based diet instead of animal-based. It can take a lot of pressure off your kidneys. We know the list of good and bad habits for kidneys can be much longer, and we'd love for you to add your ideas. Share them in the comments, your input might be helpful, and even life-changing to someone else. Now, we want to send a big thank you to all our current subscribers and viewers. Your support inspires us to continue sharing valuable content. Hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications so you never miss a life-saving video. The sooner you spot kidney issues, the more you can do to keep things under control. If you're unsure about your kidney health and haven't been in a good shape recently, check out the video on the screen. Here, we cover all the possible symptoms, helping you spot kidney failure and take action effectively if needed. See you there. Stay informed. Stay healthy.